Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of November 3rd to November 9th. At a joint meeting of the Somerset School Committee and Somerset Berkeley Regional School Committee on Tuesday, School Superintendent Jeffrey Schoonover said he is considering offering rapid COVID testing in the schools for students who have been close contacts to COVID cases in the schools but are not showing any symptoms. Students who test negative for COVID-19 in those cases would be allowed to stay in classes rather than quarantining. Ideally, Schoonover said the testing will be offered in all schools in Somerset. He said parent consent is required for the tests to be done. Schoonover said that other school districts in Massachusetts, including Berkeley, have been doing the testing in their schools. He said there were some problems with supplies and training in the beginning of the program, but those kinks seem to have been worked out, so now may be the time for Somerset to offer the test and stay program, as the state calls it. Schoonover said there have been more COVID cases in the elementary schools than in the middle school or high school. Somerset Berkeley Regional School Committee member Jennifer Vincent said the test and stay program has been very successful in Berkeley. Regional School Committee member Richard Pierce said he supports mass vaccinations and testing if those protocols will keep students in classrooms. He said his granddaughter's kindergarten class has had as few as seven students in it this year. Vincent also said that she does not think school committee approval is needed for the program to be offered in schools. She said she thinks that decision can be made by school administration. Regional school committee member Victor Machado said if it's not a school committee decision and it's not mandatory for students to have the testing in the schools, it is a no-brainer to offer the testing program. The subject will be on the agenda for the November 15th school committee meeting. Schoonover said there was a discussion about the testing program at a September meeting of the Somerset School Committee and a majority of the members felt as Machado does. Economic Development Committee Chair Paul Cogley said Mass Development called him because a commercial laundry company is looking for a site with six to eight acres of land where a 60,000 to 80,000 square foot building could be constructed for the business. He said the business would employ about 120 people. He said the business needs access to a sewer system, which Somerset has. Cogley said he suggested several sites in Somerset to mass development for the business. He discussed possible sites for the business with members of the Economic Development Committee. Somerset is one of the few towns in Massachusetts that is in an economic opportunity zone that the business could take advantage of. Towns that have economic opportunity zones can offer businesses local tax relief to lure them to their town, and the business would also be eligible for state tax credits. The Somerset School Committee and Somerset Berkeley Regional School Committee on Tuesday approved of a new three-year contract with the cafeteria workers. The cafeteria workers will receive 2% pay raises in each of the three years. Hiring a grant writer for the Somerset Public Schools and Somerset Berkeley Regional School District was discussed at a meeting on Tuesday night. Regional School Committee member Robert Goss said he met with School Superintendent Jeffrey Schoonover business manager Ronald Taro and Jameson Souza, the president of the North Elementary School parent-teacher organization, about the position. The position would be part-time. Goss said a task force would be put together to look for grants that could be used to fund the grant writer position, who would start work in the next school year. Somerset Berkeley Regional School Committee member Jennifer Vincent said the school should identify the amount of grants that are available for the school systems to go after to make sure it is worth creating a grant writer position. She said cities like Fall River are are more eligible for grants. Veteran James Mullins has donated over 5,000 books about the Navy that he stored at his house on Prospect Street to the Tin Can Sailors, a national organization of veterans who have served on destroyers. Mullins was collecting the books for over 70 years, and he wanted a safe place for them. The public can look at the books in the Library of the Tin Can Sailors, which is located in the plaza where the post office is in Somerset. 
David Cusinata, the chair of the Somerset Board of Library Trustees, was honored on Friday for serving on the board for over 51 years. An announcement was made at the event that the main conference room at the library is being named after Dr. Cusinata. Citations from several state agencies and the town were presented to Dr. Cusinata at the event. He is a retired seventh grade teacher and coordinator of the reading program in the Somerset schools. Last Thursday after school, Juliet Polkowski and a group of helpers put messages of kindness on the lockers of 720 students at Somerset Middle School so that they could see them when they came in on Friday morning. Some of the messages were love yourself, stay strong, always smile, and choose kindness. In sports, the Somerset Middle School girls soccer team finished its season with a perfect 14-0 record last week. There will be a couple holiday bazaars for people to go to in Somerset this weekend. St. Patrick's Church will be holding a bazaar with crafts, a raffle for many types of gift baskets, a raffle for a tree with over $500 worth of scratch tickets on it, and a raffle for a tree with an assortment of gift cards. That bazaar will be held from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday at the church. Foods for breakfast and lunch will also be on sale in the church's kitchen. The church is located at 306 South Street in Somerset. Also on that day, the Congregational Christian Church will also be having a bazaar from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The bazaar will feature crafters and vendors, the Yuletide Cafe, Christmas shop, bookshop, bake sale, jewelry, grandma's attic, and new gifts. The church is located at 1411 County Street in Somerset, across from the town office building. Thank you for tuning in to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. We will see you next week with news from around Somerset. Mm -hmm.